Ladies and gentlemen, while it may be hard to believe, a week has passed and we're actually on the final day of competition for the 2012 FEI Ataquan North American Junior and Young Rider Championships presented by Gotham North. Just behind me is the show jumping ring where the final phase of three-day eventing is taking place. They've just wrapped up the Junior Medal Ceremony and the last event for this competition will be the Young Riders. That's coming up next. Well, in our junior individual eventing results, the bronze medalist cleared the cross-country route and scored only four faults in the show jumping today. That process allowed Matilda Siegel and Guinness 10 to move up considerably from seventh to third in the final results. And, as usual, the object in eventing is to finish the dressage phase with as few penalties as possible. And Charlotte, North Carolina's Hannah Kruger, who was tied for 13th with Matilda Siegel on day one, may not have been happy with that position, but clearing both the cross-country and stadium courses meant that consistency was the ticket to a silver with Penny North. And, ranked second in dressage, it wasn't a far climb for our gold medalist Victoria New and Fleeceworks Mystery Duval, who, even with a knockdown today, would take the win back to San Angelo, Texas. In the team results, Area 3 came into today at third place, and they remained that way, although the fourth place team would chase, a fraction of a point would be the final edge for the bronze again for Area 3. Team Ontario started today in the lead, and they had a few riders with problems over the stadium course, and that meant the door was open for a gold medal takeover. Eventually, Ontario would end up in silver. And Area 5 would walk through that open door by respectable rounds in the stadium course and completing the three-day tour with a 169.9 for a top finish. In our Young Rider individual medals, our bronze medalist would set a 7th place dressage standard that allowed for a steady climb by clearing the following day's routes. And so it would be a bronze on the dressage score of Lexi Scovel and Sky Show, who would later accept the horsepower trophy dedicated to one special horse each year. Our dressage phase leader would end the cross-country phase with 4.4 time penalties, which eventually meant that Lizzie Snow would end up with the silver riding Coal Creek. And after a fourth in dressage, consistent performance through days two and three would mean that 53.9 score turned in by Connor Hussein and Peace of Hope would be the Young Rider individual gold standard on our final day. And finally, we'll talk about our Young Rider Team Awards. Team Ontario and Quebec would put in a respectable showing, but the gap was too wide here on day three to cover. Coming into the show jumping phase, that meant they'd settle for bronze. A combined group of area two, three, and four had a similar story, as more than anything, it was up to the leading team to lose their position, and that wouldn't happen. So area two, three, and four would end up with the silver medal. The leading team I spoke of was area 6, 7, and 9. And though they'd have some trouble and their margin of victory may narrow, it would still be a margin of victory, giving the gold medal to the combined effort from area 6, 7, and 9. In addition to world-class competition, this week brought many extraordinary moments. Will Simpson, here with his Zone 10 team, had a surprise reunion with his 2008 Olympic team gold partner, Carlson Vomdock. And though he recently came to Kentucky for a well-deserved retirement, Will chose to share his experience with our equestrian audience. Uh, I didn't think I'd ever ride Carlson again. Uh, the last time I rode him was uh, when you see the pictures when I'm tipping my hat to my son at the end of, at, at, at the, end of the Olympics, basically. So... Uh, then all of a sudden I got here to, to Kentucky and I wanted to go see him again and Karen was so excited that she had just ridden him the day before for the first time. She couldn't wait to show me what he looked like under saddle and this and that so she showed me and then said here jump on and so I jumped on him and he is some completely happy, completely relaxed and, and in a great state. And to have a horse like Carlson come along in your lifetime is a, is a dream come true and it, uh, it doesn't happen so I was very, very fortunate to have him come along. And now to see him, now to see Carlson in a, in a super place in his, in his life, uh, fantastic. And thank you, thank you to Kieran Bailey and Summer Wind Farm. America's preeminent dressage rider, 
three-time Olympian Stefan Peters set the stage for a future international star, Brandy Roenick, by providing his Pan Am double gold mount, Weltino's Magic, for a podium sweep in the discipline of dressage. The Canadian squad traveled a long distance, ironically enough, to compete over a long distance. Thanks to savvy riding over the 75-mile track, the three girls were able to deliver a team gold for their country. Former USCTA president and Pan American Games gold medalist Mike Huber has committed his life to improving the discipline of eventing. His dedication and passion for the sport has been handed down to the members of both the junior and young rider teams from Area 5. He coached here this week, and their efforts paid off with a gold medal for the junior team. Sometimes big dreams come in small packages here at the Young Rider Championships. 13-year-old Savannah Osner, riding her beloved gelding Sparkin' Hot Skidmark, demonstrated competitive skill well beyond her years and pure joy for her sport as she helped her team to a gold medal in junior reigning. So, as you can see, it's not just about winning at these championships. It's about an experience, and one that transcends any discipline, any equestrian sport, or even sports in general. Remember, the founders of this event built into them a process offering reward for responsibility, and it's their hope that competitors here will carry their experience forward in their riding, their careers, and their everyday lives. Hopefully not just resulting in better riders, but better people. So for now, we thank you for joining us at our 2012 Adequan FEI North American Junior and Young Rider Championships presented by Gotham North. We'll see you next time.